everybody. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. We have our calendar and we'll figure out what day it is today. We know it's the month of May, so let's count and see where we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is May 8th. And remember, the year is 2020. And today is Friday. So we have a little recipe to make like we always do on Friday. And before we do that, we are gonna just quickly review our letters. A, remember letters have two parts, the uppercase and the lowercase, and they get all mixed up to make different words. A, 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 B, Apple. B, 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 Red, Bread. C, K, K, Andy, Candy. D, 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 Or, Door. E, 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 Elevator, Elevator. F, F, Friend. G, 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 Goose, Goose, H, H, Hug, Hug, I, 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 Chi, Itchy, J, 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 Ump, Jump. This one's the same sound as C. How do you tell them apart? You just have to look. K, 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 ing, king. You try this one? I heard that, Ella. Did you say lion? That's what I was gonna say too. M, 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 movies, movies. N, 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 et, net. O, ah, ostrich, ostrich. Okay, you try this one. P, p pig, I heard that. Q, qua, qua, question, question. R, 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 ug, rug. S, 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 and. Sand. You try this one. T, t triangle. U, ah, uh, up. V, mm, vacuum. W, wa, uh, worm. X, x, x ray. Y, y, y. Yes, yes, and last one, your turn. I heard Ziza, I heard Zoo, I heard Zebra, maybe even a zipper and a Zoom. Okay, we have a recipe today. Wait till you see all of these things. Oh my goodness sakes, look at all of this stuff ready for our recipe. Holy moly, that's a lot of items to have out. So what are we making today? Well, we've done this one before. It rhymes with snail six. It's called trail mix. The cool thing about trail mix is that you can use a lot of different ingredients. So let's sort our things. What do we have? We have two groups. The first one, tools, tools, yep. And the next one, that gigantic word, in gree. D, ants, ingredients. Wow, we know the difference. Things that we're gonna put in our mouth and swallow, ingredients. Things that we're gonna help turn our ingredients into a snack, those are our tools. Wow, what a large group of items today. So here's our first thing. Inside this, this is a bowl, B bowl. 
Is that a tool or an ingredient? I might put my mouth in it. Ah, but I'm not going to swallow it. So it's got to be a tool bowl. These guys, we've used these before. They're the same kind of thing, just different sizes. Like people might have different size shoes. These are called measuring cups. They going in my mouth? Am I swallowing? Nope. So they're definitely a tool. I'll just put cups because that's an easy way to think about it. Cups. And then rhymes with moon. It's a spoon. I like this spoon because it's made out of wood. Might go in my mouth, but I'm not swallowing it. So again, that is a tool. Spoon. And then, do you know what these are? I'll take one out so you could take a peek. I call them bags or baggies, or people call them sandwich bags. We'll just write bags because that's shorter. Buh, ah, Hey, and I could even try to find a word on there. I see it. I see that word right there. It says bags. Wow, there's four zero, 40 bags in this. Holy moly. That's a lot of stuff. So again, those are my tools. I have a bowl, the measuring cups, a spoon, and bags. Not many tools. So all of this other stuff is our ingredients. Here's where the choices come. So we have here something I love. You can tell I already was eating them. These are the chocolate chips. That's an ingredient. You might not like chocolate chips, and that's okay. You can skip them and not use them at all. Next ones, they have grapes on the top, but when grapes dry up, they turn into these raisins. So these are another ingredient, raisins. If you don't like them, you can skip them. Okay, then we have, I think we all like these, pretzels. And these are shaped like it says st -ix sticks. So these are sticks, pretzels. So again, you could have different shaped pretzels or you could not have pretzels at all. What are these? It's written in fancy. Crackers, crackers, premium saltine crackers, minis original. So these are crackers. Again, you might have different crackers. Mine are shaped like a square. Maybe you have circle crackers. Wow, what else? Another gigantic box of cereal. Cheerios. You might have frosted flakes. You might not have cereal at all. You could skip it. But I'm, I like that, so I'm going to put that in. Cereal. Oh, boy. Then... I don't know about this. Should I put this in there? This looks like kind of yummy and delicious. We know these are Oreos. Maybe I'll put them in or maybe I'll just eat them all up. Okay, and then our last ingredient. These say almonds. Almonds, they're a type of nut. Maybe you don't like nuts. Maybe you're allergic. Who knows? You can skip them. Almonds. So how on earth is all of this, look at that, we have our four ingredient, our four tools, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients. Whoa. So our first step is always to open up our stuff, open things up, open up stuff. Those are our steps or our directions or our instructions. Okay, opening these up so they're ready, opening these up so they're ready. Opening these up so they're ready. I already opened the chocolate chips, as you know. These are going to be hard to open. I might need to ask a friend for help or get some scissors. Hmm. Miss K would really, really be a helpful resource for this. Okay. Whew. And then I see. Okay. That was hard. I had to use both hands to get that one open. Okay. The pretzel sticks. I know what to do with these. I put these three guys to sleep, get these two guys ready, and I pinch and I pull. Ha! Ah, that works very easily. Sometimes it's tough to do that. Oh boy, almonds. Okay, now this one's gonna be tough. This has a little spot that I think 
Mm, yeah, a little spot to rip it. If not, scissors, ask a friend. Some of us don't like to use scissors at home. That's fine. You could ask a friend. Okay, everything is opened. And so what am I going to do next? I'm going to add my ingredients into my bowl. Now, there's some ingredients that I'm going to use a lot of because I really like them. So I'll use my big cup. There's some ingredients, eh, so-so. So I might not use a whole bunch. And then there's some that I might not use at all. So my favorite, I'm starting with these guys. These are the chocolate chips. And I'm going to take the scoop and I'm putting them in the bowl. Just like that. Oh, I did wash my hands before, just so you know. The next one, I'm going to take a big scoop for these ones. These are the cereal. So I'm going to put my big scoop in. And here I go. Oh, my goodness. Got that right in the bowl. That was pretty easy. Okay, raisins, I'm not crazy about these ones. Eh, I'll just add a little bit. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get a big scoop of raisins. They're just not my favorite. And they're sticking into the package. They're hard to get out. Again, I could ask a friend, or I could just keep squeezing them. Okay, our next one, these are the almonds. I said those were another kind of nut. They're okay, not my favorite, so I'll just, just use a small one. There we go, put those right in. All right, so love pretzels. I would put five scoops if I could, but then there would be none left for anybody else, so I'll put one scoop of pretzels right into my bowl. And again, if you don't like these, you can skip them. Nobody's going to make you eat anything that you don't like. Just like at school, we want to try it, but we don't have to eat it. Yum. Okay, then I had... um. I might, I think I'm skipping the Oreos and saving them for something else like just eating. And I'm going to add these ones. These were pretzels. No, not pretzels. Saltine crackers. These are crackers. And I do like these, so I'll use a big scoop. If you don't like them, you skip them. Or if you have another kind of cracker, you might add that. Hmm. Okay, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I got a lot of crackers. I got a little too much, but that's okay. All right, I added what I wanted to. So I decided to skip the Oreos. Next, I'm going to close my things up. I'm closing. I don't want anything to happen and to have them spill. So I'm closing them up and I'm going to move them away. Closing up my almonds. I'm closing up my pretzels moving them away. I'm closing up my chips, moving them away, closing up the raisins. I have extras, so that's good. So we opened everything. We added our ingredients. Our next step is to mix it or stir it. That's where I use that wooden spoon. Mix it up. It looks pretty good. I'm really thinking now that I should have added more chocolate chips. Hmm. Eh, maybe, I, I don't know. All right, and then our final step, you might need several of these, depending on what you're going to do with your trail mix. You put some in a bag. And this is a good activity for you to do before you go maybe on a walk or go sit outside with a book or before you have your snack. So you just take these and you scoop it in there. Just enough. I'm not I'm gonna have enough for plenty of people, so I can certainly share this delicious snack. And then you zipper it shut, and then you keep doing that again and again until you have several bags of your trail mix. So what did you think? I think that will be a fun, delicious snack to make. And I like that you can do many different things with the trail mix. Like you could bring it in the car because it's zippered shut. You could put it in your pocket and bring it on a walk. Or you could take it outside or you could eat it at your table. You could bring it to school when we go back to school. And also I like trail mix because 
it changes a lot depending on what types of ingredients you have at home. I hope you enjoyed it too. Bye.